Hi, this is Mike Lally of KnowYourMind.com. Welcome to part nine of how to use face reading to further develop your communication skills. The focus of this part will be on the nose. Now, everything follows the nose. It literally stands out. It's the nose that leads the way. Now, its shape, size and proportion indicates how a person projects their personality out to the external world. Now, six different shapes are relatively easy to recognize. The turned up nose, the hawk, the Greek, the Roman, the Nubian and the snub nose. Now, I'll take a look at some famous people with these types a little later. However, in fact, 14 variations have been identified, but I'll confine this just to those easily recognizable familiar shapes. So what can be regarded as a well-balanced nose, a well-shaped nose? Well, the classic Greek nose springs to mind. So it has a straight bridge, a soft and round tip, and well-shaped flared nostrils that cannot be seen when viewed from the front. And this nose signifies qualities of honesty, truthfulness, and loyalty. And also the person probably has an optimistic nature. So let's look at some of the familiar types and their characteristics, but remember to compare it against the rest of the face. Now a long nose indicates a rational, logical thinker. Now they like to consider all of the options before they make a decision. Now a large nose with a good base indicates a competitive person and they're really happy to demonstrate their abilities. They want to make a difference. Now, a long, narrow nose has some of the strengths of the long nose, but these people can be insecure. But they do compensate for this because they're very engaging and often quite numerous. So here are some additional points worth considering. Now, the long nose person can literally look down their nose at other people. When the tip points down, this person has a tendency to be creative and emotionally nurturing. They can be sceptical and often want to see the evidence before they will act. Now, a large nose with a good base is an aspirational person and they do make excellent managers. Many also prefer to be their own boss. Now, a person with a narrow nose, this often points to a curious person. A short nosed person is somebody who enjoys a good time, but they're often not that dependable nor too responsible. Now, a broad-nosed person is stable, determined, and capable, and they can also apply concentration to a given task. Here are some other points worth considering. Now, the short-nosed person can be sensitive, vulnerable, but basically they are kind-hearted. They are content doing routine work, and they rarely exercise their personal power. Now, the person with a broad nose has the staying power, to see a task through to a successful completion. You can regard the broad-nosed person as a purpose-driven individual. Now, a snub nose or a ski jump nose, they're really easy to recognize because their nostrils are clearly visible. In fact, if you look at the nose from the profile, it has a concave shape. Looks a bit like Picasso, doesn't it? And these are happy-go-lucky people, and that's in evidence because of the way they project their personality out to the external world. Generally, the snub nose or ski jump nose is a person that can be good fun, but they can be gullible. They do enjoy helping others and will go to a great deal of trouble if necessary. They do have difficulty asking for money, and they can also have difficulty saving money and making ends meet. The focus is on service not reward, not money. Now let's take a brief look at the bridge of the nose. Now if it's a straight bridge, these people put a focus on value and service. Now if it's pointed at the end, they really want to get to the bottom of things. They will probe beneath the surface to get the information, to get the detail that they want. Now a convex nose, sometimes known as the Roman nose, which the shape sort of goes, is a person who's a bargain hunter. They know the value of things. They're very price conscious. So if you want to deal with them, offer them a discount. 
Now, a nose that turns down at the end is a sceptical person. They will question everything. So get prepared for a cross-examination. So here are some additional points for your consideration. The convex nose person is excellent at delegating tasks to others. They want to be in charge and they're often very successful in business. Now the turn down nose, as I said, is a sceptical person. So they will not trust unless they see the evidence. You need to give them the facts. Now I mentioned earlier that I would look at some famous people using those six recognisable different shapes. So the turned up nose, Marilyn Monroe. The turned up nose is seen as a cute nose and these people are generally kind hearted. Now the hawk nose, the late great John Lennon. This is a person who wants to carve out their own pathway. They can be fairly rebellious and they do not seek the approval of others and they rarely follow the crowd. The turned up nose. These people are optimistic and full of character. They can have an endless enthusiasm for new things and experiences. Now the hawk nose. They are the least likely to care about what others think of them. People with this kind of a nose are most happy when they pursue their own projects or goals. Now let's look at two presidents. Now the Roman nose, President Abraham Lincoln. This strong, slightly hooked nose is characteristic of leaders. It signals a strong personality, but not an impulsive one. Now the new beard nose, President Barack Obama. Generally it's long with a broad base. And again, this signals passion and creativity. Here are some other characteristics. Now the Roman nose. Now people with this type of nose are carefully measured. They don't rush into decisions and they're very good at influencing others. Often they are well organized and they are good at rallying people to take action. And they're very rarely aggressive. Now the new being knows. Now these people are always thinking of new ways to approach problems and they are instigators of change. They're open-minded, curious and expressive of their emotions. As a result, they tend to be very charismatic and people are naturally drawn to them. Sometimes their emotions get the better of them and they can flare up, but their natural charm helps them to make amends. Now the Greek nose, Admiral Lord Nelson. In fact, Nelson Street is very close to where I live. This is an inspirational person, yet they're highly functional and extremely good at organizing. They're just the kind of person you want to be with in a crisis. Now the snub nose, the great Muhammad Ali. This person is quick-witted, both physically and mentally. They think fast. Here's some other points. Now the Greek nose. These people do not panic and they're always thinking logically about their next move. They keep their emotions close to their chest and they can be hard to fathom. This is a matter of fact and efficient person. Now the snub nose. They tend to be more streetwise than your average person. They can also react quickly to situations but sometimes they can react too quickly which may lead to aggression. Now the tip of the nose also reveals valuable information. If the tip is soft and fleshy, it indicates a sensitive person. They're often considerate, warm and gentle, though they do like to know what is going on. Now, if the tip is pointed, this is a person who wants to make the point as quickly as possible, and they can be rather nosy. If there's a groove in the tip of the nose, it indicates an indecisive person, and they can often be dissatisfied with the work that they do. Now obviously there's so much information about the nose, so take a look at this summary that you can use to quickly discern some characteristics of the person that you're communicating with. If the nose is large, you have a materialistic, energetic person. If the nose is small, this can be a timid person, and they can also be a loner. If the nose is straight, it's a systematic person, and they can be a good leader. A slightly upturned nose is a social butterfly. They enjoy being with people. Now a wide nose 
indicates an independent, expressive person. The hook shape knows a person of power. They have the guts to be themselves, no matter what they face. Now, a long nose can be stressed, but they're always respectful. A pointed nose, this is a self-assured person. They can also be inquisitive. Now, the snub nose is a very friendly person, but they can be immature. Finally, the thin nose. This is a finicky, fussy person, and sometimes they can be out of control. Now, this summary provides a quick pointer to the chief characteristics of most of the common noses. I hope it's of some help. That completes part nine. Thanks for your time. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and visit my website, knowyourmind.com, and my blog, mikelala.com. Make contact, leave a message if you wish. Please remember, you have many faces, let's put them to use. Let's home in on the nose to see where it may lead us. And be mindful, the face says, this is who I am. I'll be back shortly with another part. So in the meantime, take care. Cheerio for now.